to share with you guys one quick thing here that I have done, and it's really important. You guys notice on my key rack, I've got a missing spot, and I've always kept this spot open on my key rack, and behind it, you'll notice that there's a carbon cub. About carbon cubs, basically it's like the most badass airplane you can get as far as being a real pilot. Alright, so like carbon cubs are like the Jeep of airplanes. They came out in like World War II. They've got like 35s on them, 33s. These are like Alaskan bush planes. These things are like sick. Like some of them can land in like 90 feet. So like you can literally land it like on top of a semi truck if you're good enough. It's freaking legit. So I want to start out with that. And you guys know I got a little Sinatra, come fly with me. That has been one of my goals my entire life has been to become a pilot. And it's always been one of my last goals because it's kind of like having a cocaine addiction. If you're going to fly airplanes, it's you got to you got to have a way to print cheddar, all right? And what they say, sorry for the younger guys, but if it flies, floats or fucks, you're better off renting it. And so sometimes that's that's the case. In that case though, I do have a boat and I do want an airplane. And so, you know, that's just that's been one of my things. I've been reading a book, and I recommend it to every single guy watching this Periscope. Every single dude watching this Periscope should go pick up David Gatta's The Way of the, of the Superior Man. I've read this book. I've been listening to it on Audible. I've listened to it three times this week in the, in the Caterpillar. I've been like literally out printing, printing, and printing. And, uh, and so I've got like just tons of hours in the seat, so I've just been really listening to books. And I recommend that book to every single person, every single guy watching this scope, YouTube video, whatever this uh, broadcast may end up being. The reason being is that most men, I would say almost all men, have never really sat down and really thought about their purpose. And that book has got me thinking a lot about what my purpose was, what my purpose is, and it's going to go a little, little, gonna go a little spiritual on you guys real quick, but what your purpose, what your true nature, your true masculine energy was before your lifetime and what it is after your lifetime. That is to say, somewhere along the lines of a soul or your infinite energy, what is that most true about your masculinity? Most men do not have a fucking clue. And so I've been giving it a lot of thought and here is what my true, authentic masculine purpose is. I'm a father, I'm a teacher, I'm a first responder, and I'm a pilot. And those are the three things, or the four things that I know that when I'm in and I'm doing what I need to be doing, when I'm living according to how I need to be like moving forward in life, that is exactly how, like, that, that is what I am. Like, that's what I've always been. Those are the things where when I'm, I'm doing those, those tasks or I'm in those tasks or I'm just surrounded by it, I'm like most in zen, I'm most in flow, um, I'm most in like, you know, uh, uh, the, my truest state. I've had my business now. The business I have now where I talk about machines and we go out and we do forestry mulching, we do bobcat services and we do that type of stuff. We've got the YouTube channel, we've got you know, a course on building and selling businesses. I've had this business for four years and I want you guys to know that for the first three years, I just straight failed out and most guys are going to do that, but I straight failed out. I just kept on failing, I kept on failing, but I kept on failing forward, right? So I kept on moving forward. Every move I made, I tried to be as ad agile. And I try to be as versatile as possible. There's money in trash. There's money in plastics. There's money in glass. There's money in glass. There's always going to be something to go chase, right? But the money doesn't really doesn't really do it for you. It's having purpose and knowing and being in your purpose that's going to give you what you want out of life. And when you're a young guy, you're going to chase tons of money, right? You're going to chase you're going to chase cash and ass. And at the end of the day, it's about having purpose. And if you have purpose, cash and ass. Are gonna, they're going to show up to you. You're not going to have to chase it. It's going to chase you. I promise you that. 